NASA has discovered a super Earth that could have conditions to sustain life. The new exoplanet is 137 light years away, or about roughly 800 trillion miles. Astronomers say the planet is about one and a half times the size of Earth and orbits a small reddish star that is cooler than our sun. Gaze beyond our solar system to the next nearest star, Proxima Centauri, and that's 24 trillion miles away, which sounds a lot, but in space terms, it's our neighbor. That's where a planet has been discovered, orbiting around it. And the reason scientists are so excited is that this alien world is the closest there is outside our own solar system. It's been called Proxima b. It's slightly larger than Earth, and although its star is much cooler than our sun, the planet is in just the right zone for liquid water to exist on its surface. And that means that in theory, it could support life. Scientists <laughs> looking for life on other planets like to talk about the Goldilocks zone, not too hot, not too cold, but just right. And now NASA has found a planet that's right in that zone. This is a game changer, because astronomers have hit the jackpot. This is their dream come true. A new chapter in astronomy has opened up. We finally found the closest one that looks very similar to the planet Earth, we think. Astronomers have found clear evidence of what could be an Earth 2.0. This artist's rendering shows the rocky planet identified as Proxima b, orbiting the Proxima Centauri star. Proxima Centauri is the closest star to our planet apart from the sun, and it is about 4.25 light years away. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has hardly opened its eyes, and the universe is new, more mysterious, more beautiful than humanity's dreams. The clearest images of Proxima B just came through, and what they reveal is simply breathtaking. Rocky landscapes, hints of liquid water, and perhaps even signs of something beyond our understanding. James Webb has outdone itself this time, capturing stunning views of this nearby super-Earth that's only four light years away. The James Webb Telescope has revealed something horrifying on Proxima b, signs of chaos and destruction no one expected. New data shows it's anything but safe, raising chilling questions about what's really out there. Could this be a glimpse into our own future or something even darker? Let us uncover the shocking truth about Proxima b that is driving Earth to the brink of total collapse. Lights on Proxima b leave scientists stunned. Proxima b is the closest exoplanet to Earth, orbiting the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, just over four light years away. This super-Earth has intrigued researchers since its discovery in 2016 primarily because it lies within its star's habitable zone. This means conditions might exist that could support liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it. However, recent observations from the James Webb Space Telescope have painted a far more complicated and alarming picture. Before we delve into this, it's clear that what the James Webb Telescope uncovered on Proxima b is far more disturbing than anyone could have imagined. And the shocks don't end here. Unlike Earth, Proxima b is tidally locked, meaning one side perpetually faces its star, while the other is in eternal darkness. Initially, scientists theorize that advanced life forms, if present, could have developed technologies to transfer energy between the day and night sides, perhaps using solar panels or artificial lights. It was an exciting notion until web sensors began picking up some unexpected signals. The idea of detecting artificial light on distant planets has long been considered a potential method for identifying technologically advanced civilizations. Using its incredibly sensitive instruments, Webb captured faint but unusual light emissions emanating from Proxima b's dark side. These signals bore striking similarities to the kind of artificial light humans produce. While it's tempting to conclude this as proof of alien technology, the reality is far more complex and perhaps more frightening. Scientists analyzed the patterns of the light and found irregularities that don't align with natural phenomena like volcanic activity or auroras. If these emissions are artificial, it suggests the presence of a civilization that is, at the very least, as advanced as ours. However, what kind of society would thrive under such extreme conditions? And more importantly, what else might they be capable of? Proxima B's environment is no paradise. 
The red dwarf star at orbit is known for violent solar flares, which could strip away a planet's atmosphere over time. These flares bombard the surface with intense radiation, creating a landscape that's harsh and unforgiving. Yet, if there's life there, it has likely evolved to withstand or even harness these conditions. This raises unsettling questions. Could such a civilization view Earth as a resource or a haven in comparison to their hostile home? And if they've developed the capability to survive on Proxima B, how advanced might their technology be? Adding to the intrigue, a narrowband radio signal resembling the type used in Earth's communication technologies was detected coming from Proxima B in 2021. This was no ordinary static. It carried a specific frequency that hinted at its artificial origin. Although further analysis has yet to definitively confirm its source, the possibility that it's a message from an intelligent civilization cannot be ruled out. What's particularly unnerving is that the signal didn't just appear once. Subsequent observations reveal recurring patterns, almost as if the source was trying to establish contact. But are they reaching out in peace? Or could this be something far more sinister? As scientists dig deeper, the implications of these discoveries grow increasingly ominous. The potential artificial lights on Proxima B's dark side suggest a level of technological advancement that could surpass our own. If these lights are indeed from a civilization, what's their purpose? Are they merely a means of survival? Or do they signify something more? Humanity's history is littered with examples of exploration turning into conquest. As we gaze at Proxima B, we must consider how advanced civilizations might perceive our own. If we've detected them, chances are they've noticed us as well. And given the fragile state of Earth's environment, would they see us as a civilization worth preserving, or merely another obstacle in their path? What we've learned about Proxima B opens up new ideas and warnings, making us wonder how these discoveries could change everything we know. The rising stakes in Proxima B's discoveries highlight a sobering reality. The search for extraterrestrial life is no longer just about curiosity, it's about preparing for the unknown. Proxima B might not just be a distant, uninhabited planet. It could be a harbinger of what's to come, a glimpse into a future where humanity is no longer alone but faces challenges far greater than we've ever imagined. The James Webb Space Telescope's work on Proxima B is far from over. Future missions aim to gather even more detailed data, including atmospheric composition and potential biosignatures. These efforts will require unprecedented precision and collaboration, as the stakes couldn't be higher. Proxima B's radio signal detection highlights just how far science has come and how much further it still has to go. The possibilities are enormous. Astronomers continue to fine-tune their methods, using Webb's capabilities to decipher Proxima B's atmosphere. They aim to determine the presence of specific gases, such as carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor. The building blocks of life as we understand it. Understanding Proxima B's potential habitability is not just an academic pursuit. It forces us to rethink our place in the cosmos. Should we eventually confirm the existence of advanced life forms on Proxima B, what would that mean for humanity? Would it unite us or would it deepen existing divisions? Meanwhile, scientists are grappling with the enormous challenges of interpreting data from light years away. With Webb's ability to analyze faint signals, astronomers can separate natural phenomena from potential artificial emissions. This meticulous work ensures that any conclusions drawn are based on solid evidence, not speculation. The discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope about Proxima b are part of something much bigger. Scientists are looking at exoplanets like Proxima b not only to search for signs of life, but also to learn how planets are formed and how they change over time. For hundreds of years, people have been fascinated by the idea of life beyond Earth. But exploring these possibilities also brings up deep and difficult questions. How should we approach the unknown? What might it mean for us to find life elsewhere? Proxima b is close enough to Earth to make it a top choice for more research. This planet gives us a rare chance to study something that could forever change how we see the universe. What if there are intelligent beings there? 
How will we try to communicate with them? And perhaps the hardest question of all, should we even try? Just because we can doesn't always mean we should. The James Webb Telescope has given us an incredible new way to look at the stars and beyond, but with every discovery comes a growing list of questions. Proxima B could be just the start of what we uncover in space. As we look deeper into the universe, we may find both answers we've been seeking and challenges we've never imagined. Each new discovery is like opening a door to more possibilities, and some of them could completely change how we understand our place in the cosmos. The lessons we learn from Proxima B will help guide us as we keep exploring what's out there. Science isn't just about finding answers, it's also about knowing which questions to ask. The search for life beyond Earth isn't just about curiosity. It's about expanding our understanding of who we are and where we fit in the universe. This exploration is bound to push us beyond our limits, challenging our ideas and shaping the future of humanity. As we keep moving forward into space, Proxima B will remind us of the importance of thoughtful exploration. It's not only about what we find, but also how those discoveries affect us. What does it mean to find life on another planet? Could it change how we treat our own planet? The search for life among the stars may redefine what it truly means to be human and force us to think in ways we never have before. Space exploration is more than just a scientific mission. It's a way to push the boundaries of what we know and what we dare to imagine. As we continue to unlock the universe's many wonders, we are not only shaping our future, but also learning what it means to explore with care and curiosity. Our search didn't end with Proxima B. It has stretched over years, showing us planets in a universe that's much more complicated than we first thought. The golden age of exploring planets. The history of exploring our solar system is nothing short of mind-blowing. For thousands of years, we've stared at the stars, wondering what's out there, but it wasn't until the last few centuries that we began to unravel the bigger picture. Once the 1950s hit, it was game on. Robotic spacecraft became our way of extending human curiosity beyond Earth, kicking off a new era of discovery. Back in the late 1950s, the United States and the Soviet Union were locked in a fierce competition to explore space. Both nations aimed their sights at the moon. The United States had a rough start, its early pioneer missions faced hiccups with four failed attempts in a row, but they didn't throw in the towel. By 1959, Pioneer 4 broke through, escaping Earth's gravity and gathering data as it passed by the moon. Meanwhile, the Soviet Union's Luna missions were making waves. Luna 1 zipped past the moon, Luna 2 smashed into its surface, and Luna 3 sent back the first ever images of the moon's far side giving humanity a new perspective. Then came the 1960s and space exploration hit another level. In 1962, NASA's Mariner 2 made history by successfully flying by Venus, revealing critical details about its atmosphere. Three years later, Mariner 4 took the spotlight with the first flyby of Mars, snapping photos that showed a cratered, rocky surface. This shook up earlier ideas of a lush, Earth-like Mars. It wasn't just a red in the sky anymore. It was a fascinating world begging for more exploration. The 1970s and 1980s turned out to be golden decades for space exploration. NASA's Viking program landed two spacecraft on Mars in 1976, searching for life and studying the planet's geology and atmosphere. While no signs of life were found, the data gathered was groundbreaking. The Soviet Union didn't hold back either. Their Venera missions to Venus achieved some incredible milestones. In 1970, Venera 7 became the first spacecraft to land on another planet and send data back, even under Venus's extreme heat and crushing pressure. Later missions painted a vivid picture of Venus's hellish landscape, complete with molten rock and sulfuric acid clouds. If the Viking and Venera missions were impressive, the Voyager program was nothing short of epic. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 rewrote the book on the outer planets. Voyager 1 captured stunning details of Jupiter and Saturn, including their moons and ring systems. Voyager 2 went even further, visiting Uranus and Neptune, the
the only spacecraft to ever do so. Along the way, they discovered 48 moons, active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io, and brand new planetary rings. Even after their primary missions ended, the Voyagers kept going, sending data from the edge of the solar system. By the 1990s and early 2000s, space exploration was in full swing. The Galileo spacecraft, launched in 1989, gave us a closer look at Jupiter and its fascinating moons. Europa, with its icy surface and possible underground ocean, became a prime candidate for future missions searching for life. Then came the Cassini-Huygens mission, a partnership between NASA and the European Space Agency. Reaching Saturn in 2004, Cassini unveiled the planet's stunning rings and strange moons. Its Huygens probe even landed on Titan, Saturn's largest moon, revealing lakes of liquid methane and a dense, orange-tinged atmosphere. Asteroids and comets soon joined the list of targets. Japan's Hayabusa mission successfully brought back samples from asteroids, providing a window into the early days of the solar system. The European Space Agency's Rosetta mission took things further, orbiting and landing a probe on a comet. Imagine chasing a speeding ice rock through space and actually landing on it. The data gathered from Comet 67 p slash churyumov gerasimenko was like peering into a cosmic time capsule. Mars, though, has always been the star of the show. NASA's rovers, Spirit, Opportunity, Curiosity, and Perseverance have been rolling across its surface, uncovering evidence of ancient rivers and lakes. Perseverance, which landed in 2021, is taking things up a notch by collecting samples that might one day make their way back to Earth. And let's not forget Ingenuity, the little helicopter that proved power flight on another planet is possible. That's a giant leap for drones everywhere. Space exploration isn't just an American story. Other nations have made incredible contributions too. China's Chang'e program has pulled off successful lunar landings and even returned samples from the moon. India's Mars Orbiter mission, affectionately called Mangalayan, delivered key insights about Mars's atmosphere, all on a budget that would make Hollywood jealous. Europe's missions, like Rosetta and Mars Express, have added layers of understanding to our cosmic map. What's next? The focus is shifting to icy moons and sample returns. Jupiter's moon Europa, with its hidden ocean, is a hot target for missions like NASA's upcoming Europa Clipper. Mars is set to send its first rock samples back to Earth, possibly unlocking clues to its ancient past. And beyond that, who knows? With advancing technology, there's no telling how far we'll go or what we'll find. One thing's for sure, the exploration of our solar system is just getting started. Even with all we've found in space, the biggest questions about the universe still leave us searching for answers to things we don't yet understand. The universe's most unsolved problems. The universe is a massive, chaotic place and there's no denying that it's packed with unanswered questions. Take dark matter, for instance. It's like the invisible glue holding galaxies together. 